Hey everyone, I recently got a request from a customer. They're looking to build a boost converter module powered by lithium batteries with a rated power of 6 kilowatts. They want the operating settings to be adjustable and also want a screen to monitor everything. It's meant to be used in their solar power system. Since the output power goes up to 6,000 watts, I used an H-bridge structure with 28 MOSFETs. I'm using two D624 toroidal transformers in parallel. I also included a display on the output side so the customer can freely adjust the operating parameters. Because this is a custom design for a customer, I can't share the entire project. I can only share the schematic diagram. If you want, you can contact me via Facebook and I'll send it to you. Thanks to JLCPCB for generously sponsoring this video. My projects probably wouldn't have been possible without their support. JLCPCB is one of the world's leading PCB manufacturers. Besides PCB production, they also offer a wide range of services like 3D printing, PCBA, PCB design services, and more, all at very affordable prices. This project was quite large, but I only had to pay $20 for the PCB and $6 for shipping. Very reasonable. You can get an even better deal if you sign up through the link in the video description. You can receive discount codes worth up to $70 to use on JLCPCB's services. I ordered quite a few PCBs for this project. However, the production and delivery time didn't change. It only took one week to receive them. The PCB quality is excellent. This is the power board. With 28 MOSFETs, it can easily deliver up to 6 kilowatts of output power when running at 48 volts input. It can handle input voltages up to 200 volts, as long as you choose MOSFETs with the appropriate voltage rating. Next comes the most boring part soldering the components onto the board. It's summer in my country right now, and temperatures can reach up to 40 degrees Celsius. Sitting there, soldering in that kind of heat feels like a punishment. In this project, I'm using 47 ohm gate resistors. Each one is connected in parallel with a fast recovery diode, which helps quickly turn off the MOSFETs to avoid shoot through. Since I plan to run the system at 48 volts, I'm using main capacitors rated at 63 volts. These main capacitors are paralleled with mica capacitors for noise filtering. There are also shunt resistors on the board for measuring the input current. Next is soldering the 28 MOSFETs. I'm using MOSFETs rated at 85 volts and 140 amps, which are a great fit for this project. At full power, each side of the H-bridge handles around 130 amps. Divided evenly, each MOSFET only carries less than 20 amps. That's just one-seventh of its rated current. 
I'm confident it will perform well. This is the control board. I spent a lot of time soldering these surface mount components. I strongly recommend using PCBA services. They save you a ton of time and effort. Besides that, we have a display module and some buttons. The display is a 2004 LCD with an I2C interface. I'm using amorphous cores for the transformers in this circuit. They have very high power capacity. One D64 core can deliver up to five kilowatts. For this project, I'm using two D64 cores. And here's the finished product. This module lets you set parameters like low battery voltage, high battery voltage, restart voltage, fan on off temperature, output power, and output voltage. It also displays all the operating parameters on the LCD screen. <laughs> 